good morning students so in today's class uh, we have to see about aesthetic communications so these are all about communication verbal communication non verbal communications you already got in last classes and today we will start with aesthetic communication so aesthetic communication arts or you can say different type of art are there is another way or uh, art is another important means of communication so there are different type of arts like dancing or painting or sculpt, uh, sculpturing so these are different types of communications we can say through paintings or other forms of art an artist can convey his message uh, artist will make some art or he will make some painting and he will uh, convey his message so it has been observed in the past that art has used as an uh, it has been used as an effective form of non verbal communications so this is about aesthetic communications and also playing musical instrument through musical instrument even people can express their or you can say they can express their feeling or they can also communicate so these are some aesthetic communications next appearance the first impression creates an image about the person so dressing and grooming uh, indicates one's personality impacts the reaction of the audience if you meet a person who is well dressed and he is uh, totally totally wearing uh, a formal dress there will be a different uh, different impression of that person rather than a person who is uh, uh, what to say nowadays you can see those hip hop artists and all with all different type of haircuts then uh, uh, then their dressing style is totally different so you will have a different impression of that person so appearance wise this dressing sense or hairstyle or uh, the way that person works everything creates an impression about that person now advantage the advantage of uh, that non verbal communication is that it is useful with verbal communication when you are meeting that person face to face and you are uh, verbally communicating with that person then it is uh, it is uh, that's an advantage and physical signs and symbols help deaf people to understand and communicate so if there is any physical sign those people who cannot hear they so by using those uh, signs and symbols it will help those deaf people to understand and communicate then disadvantage is that it is not suitable for long distance so from here <clears throat> if i call you and try to explain something using signs and symbols then you won't understand it won't be that uh, beneficial and expressions may be misunderstood may be due to tone or use of words so if different type of words are used if the person does not know the uh, very good form of words or if his tone is different you will see there are some people who uh, shout and talk and there are some people who talk politely when they are angry so those tone uh, in a phone call will convey a different message or it might be misunderstood next visual communication visual communication is a more powerful than verbal communication verbal and non verbal communication in many situation so you can see that uh, whenever you watch a movie you can easily remember the things you can easily remember something you have seen if you see a signboard or if you see some sign you can easily remember rather than some re uh, some uh, written words or just if somebody have spoken to you okay so it becomes very easy to remember the uh, visual communications like uh, signs then uh, drawing play cards presentation illustrations and other electronic resources so technology advancement have made presentation of data easier for example charts in microsoft excel if you see any chart in microsoft excel you can easily understand uh, that chart if there is a excel chart for comparing marks then just by seeing the marks uh, seeing the chart you can easily say who have got highest mark or who have got less mark so you can easily compare now advantages of visual communication it is more effective than just words or gestures so even uh, in uh, online classes you will see uh, i think there are some advantages in online classes few images can be shown because some of the images we cannot draw in uh, blackboard or it will take more time or uh, it is better than better means in some part you can see it is very beneficial means online classes where few uh, images can be collected from intern it can be shown here 
so i feel that is an advantage then illustration or charts helps emphasis oral communications helps people who do not know how to read but still can understand the concept so people who cannot read they can easily see and they can learn then disadvantage of uh, visual communication hardware equipments may be expensive because in visual communication computer might be required then uh, uh, some other software uh, hard, other hardware might be required so it will be costly it will be expensive then time consuming to create visual aids just like this presentation i had to spend some time to create this uh, presentation then i have to screen record this convert it into a video do a little editing then i have to upload in youtube so it is bit time consuming so this is the disadvantage next you will get writing skill but before writing skill you will see in page number 21 you have fill in the blanks true and false and choose the correct answer so you will do this in your book and question number d and e you will do in your copy after the video is over or that will be made be a homework okay so writing skill words are everything words gives wor uh, world and life and everything in a meaning People mostly, eff most effectively and efficiently use these words to form meaningful information and share with each other. So you will see there is a difference. Uh, there are people who use words who can properly frame sentences using these words. Uh, if they can use very attractive words or very, there are some, sp uh, you will hear some speech of great people. They have very effective words. They use some effective words. So that you can say that uh, it is very beneficial for them on people who can uh, this this is a kind of skill using words framing sentences this is a skill and uh, because such strong communication is imperative that you must take care that there is no grammatical errors in your language and it should be meaningful there should not be any grammatical error in your language and in this les lesson means after this slide you will see some grammatical knowledge so uh you have you might have already got all these things in your english classes but still uh, since it is given in the book we have to do it it will be like a revision for you first is phrases a phrase is a group of words which forms a part which forms a part of a sentence it is a group that contains uh, no finite verb therefore it cannot stand by its own and convey a complete meaning we can say that phrase adds to the meaning of a sentence so you already know about phr phrases for example i walk two kilometer an hour so this is a phrase a phrase can do the work of a noun an adjective adjective or an adverb and thus call uh, thus can be called a noun phrase so here also one example was two three examples are given i forget to carry my lunch box so simply you can say that i forget but to complete the sentence to carry my la lunch box it will be a noun phrase number two following your advice i took the medicine so following your advice will be an adjective phrase and i took the medicine to be just a normal sentence sentences and its parts a sentence is a group of words arranged in a manner which conveys a complete meaning so if we take any sentence it cannot be uh, if only just group of words if it is arranged you cannot say that's a sentence but all those group of words if it is arranged and gives a complete meaning only then we can say that it is a sentence for example fun learning it english is so this is though it, this is a sentence but it does not give any uh, meaning so this is not a proper sentence a proper sentence will give a uh, mean proper meaning i hope uh, those that fun learning it english is you will you know what will be the sentence uh, it is fun learning english so that will be a proper sentence and also a sentence should have subject verb and object or maybe a complement for example there uh, in uh, sentences you will get some subject and predicate so if you see this example rajesh is a good boy rajesh will be a subject and is a good boy will be a predicate so i think you have already got this in english when you were in lower classes uh, there is nothing to explain here then objects and complements an object in a sentence uh, is a noun or a pronoun which is affected by the action of the verb in a sentence 
the object of a sentence in the active voice change into a subject of a passive voice so active voice and passive voice also you have already got example we reached in time so the first part will be the object and later part it will be the complements so that will be all mm, if you have any doubt you can uh, uh, write in the whatsapp group i don't think there should be any doubt and already i have seen in the past classes even you have doubt only few student ask questions i don't know why so even if you have uh, not understood anything from the beginning you can ask me you can message me in my number okay uh, so thank you